when you look at this bus from a distance your guess might be that it's just an ordinary bus waiting for passengers to get on board but as you come closer you discover that a lot more is happening here because this is not your ordinary bus this is a barber shop My name is John Maina Mandu, one of uh, the directors of this Bomber Shop and Lounge. It was uh, started like uh, three years ago and uh, before I start I want to appreciate one lady by name Sally Mandu. She's behind this art and uh, we came with this art because uh, we wanted to appreciate the Matatu culture. And again, eh, I wanted at least to come up with something unique, something that, you know, eye-catching. Because, you know, nowadays, competition, business competition is very hard. And uh, for you to, 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 you know, to get your, your, your customers, at least you need to come up with something that, something unique. Yeah, something unique. So, how long have you been running this? Uh, this is our third year, I think. Uh, yeah, this is our bad year. We've been here for, for the last three years. And because the market is a market that is so popular for many salons, many barber shops, how have you found it in fact your your business for the fact that you're using this? Okay, you know, nowadays eh, the business competition is very high. So as in uh, for you to get into business and to keep at least yourself floating or even trending, you need to come up with something that is eye-catching. You need to come up that we, we need, you need to come up with something that at least attracts people. Initially when we were starting, uh, a lot of people were just wondering what type of uh, maybe a business that, that uh, we were trying to to come to come along with. Just a complete potato. As you can see, it, it has an exhaust, it has some pills, side mirror, everything. As in, it is just a, a complete matatu. But uh, it, it, it is not a matatu that was brought here. Everything started from the scratch. Oh, you actually made it from here? Yeah, this, uh, we started from a scratch because it took, uh, you know, uh, not less than eight months for it to be completed. If it was uh, wheels, we were going to, you know, we used to go to the shop and uh, maybe purchase the wheels, the side mirrors, uh, windscreen, everything. Yeah, we started from the scratch. Now, my sister was uh, was the founder, the initiator of uh, the Umoina Sato. She was one of uh, the directors who started the Umoina Sato. But we decided to be, you know, we decided to, to, to due to some uh, mechanical problems and the challenges that usually, uh, usually uh, face uh, the, 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 the transport industry. We decided to come up with something that, you know, it doesn't give us that, a lot of pressure. So my sister and I decided to come up with a matatu, uh, an art that resembles a matatu. And uh, the most unique thing about this barber shop is that uh, each and every person has got his or her role. For instance, when you get here, you'll find a lady who will uh, welcome you show you a place where you can sit and uh, as you wait for your barber maybe to finish I would put some uh, varieties of uh, services that you usually, usually have yeah. usually mm -hmm. for instance as you wait you have uh, a drink different uh, types of drinks you have juice hot, uh, hot chocolate have some biscuits or, uh, uh, as a company then now uh, uh, after you are done with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the drink, you are shown your preferred barber. You are shown your barber who will take you through the, the haircut. But if you have your preferred barber, you usually wait for them to finish. As I said earlier, each and every person here has got his own home. He's not you know, just a normal barber shop. Hey, maybe the person who does your hair is the one who maybe wash your hair, who apply the surgical spirit and then, yeah, so on. So we have uh, barbers who will, uh, who will uh, you know, take care of your hair. Then after you are done, you have some beautiful lady who usually wash your hair, make sure that uh, yeah, wash your hair and provide your uh, 
uh, a, soothing, a soothing head massage. Yeah. Why? In most cases, when you bring them, it's the barber shop. They don't like, you know, they being shaved. Yeah, they just laugh. You know, they don't like, you know, as in just like an icon. So I would say to come up with a, with a toy that uh, resembles a, a seat that resembles a toy, and um, I can say that uh, it has really. Uh, I changed the mind of uh, many kids out, out there, and uh, at least right now, okay, not right now, at least they they enjoy being shot. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from these toy seats, we usually uh, we like to make our our yeah. kids comfortable and, and satisfied. So when they are done uh, being shot, we usually give them other ones. So that next time at least we can get that motivation to come back. Yeah, so this is the part that I was telling you about. After you're done shaving, uh, you find some beautiful ladies here who will do the head, uh, head wash, and that part over there is uh, for, 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 for head massage. So the seats, we have two clean seats here. Which provides uh, baby care, that stable over there, provides uh, manicure, and our services are very, very popular. We have a gel application, 500 shillings. We have uh, uh, manicure, 350. So at least we are trying to bring you know, that feeling yeah. where maybe our clients can be comfortable with that. I love what I do, and uh, 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 behind all the challenges, I remember my sister telling me, we cannot, we cannot all fit uh, work, or, or working in uh, different institutions. So, uh, my sister, who is my mentor, uh, who is behind my back, used to tell me that uh, it is not necessary for me to work from, five, from eight to five. Please try to find something that uh, you know, you can create your brand, create your brand, try to learn uh, businesses, uh, business uh, dynamics, challenges, everything, and maybe have something that maybe you can leave uh, to your generation. Uh, this has been running for the last uh, three years, and let me say that uh, it has been very, very successful because you learn day in, day out. Then again, those people who are outside there are saying that uh, there is no business, uh, there is no jobs in Kenya. I think the best thing is uh, just starting from anywhere. You can just start from any position as far as you know your objectives and your goal, what you want to do, what, where you want to be in the next uh, maybe few years to come.